Vectors and matrices play an essential role in MATLAB. Vectors and matrices are used to store multiple values within one variable. This is useful for data analysis and simulation. For example, a data set from an experiment might capture the responses of subjects over several trials. More generally, you might get multiple measurements and you want a single variable to represent all the measurements collected. So first, row vectors represent uh, sets of values in a row. Uh, for example, here's a row vector 1, 6, 7, 3, uh, organized in a single row across four columns. Here's a column vector. Um, as the name suggests, we have uh, three rows here, uh, but organized in a single column. So MATLAB can represent vectors either as a row vector or as a column vector. So let's show how we create these vectors in MATLAB. In the example, I can create a row vector, 1, 6, 7, and 3, as follows. So note the square brackets here. So I organized uh, uh, sets of values between the two square brackets. And I can separate the values uh, by spaces. But you can also use, uh, this is a little bit less common, uh, commas and you get the same answer. Now let's create a column vector. So I can create a column vector by separating the values by semicolons. So 8, 4, 2. So note, now I have a column vector. Everything again is between the square brackets. Now the semicolon denotes the, the separate rows here. Now back to this example, uh, a matrix organizes the values in rows and columns. So this example matrix has two rows and three columns. And we can use the MATLAB representation in similar ways. So we can say uh, Z equals 2, 2, 7. That's the first row, uh, followed by 6, 1, 5. And this creates the matrix that has two rows and three columns. Uh, I can also make this matrix larger. Suppose I want to uh, add an extra row. But now, suppose I make a little mistake here and I add only two extra values in the last row. Then MATLAB says uh, this is uh, a mistake. The dimensions uh, being concatenated here are not consistent. So this means that I don't have the right number of elements in either the rows or the columns. So I need to add one more value here. And now I have a three by three matrix. There's one more concept here. <clears throat> a scalar is simply a one by one matrix or a row or a column vector with just a single element. And uh, we've already seen scalars in MATLAB. So whenever you say um, A equals 1, you're essentially declaring a variable, a scalar. I could also say A equals 1 between square brackets, and I get the same result. If we want to uh, see what we have in memory, we can use the, the whose command. Uh, you get the summary of the variables. Uh, you can get the similar summary in the workspace window. Now there's one useful summary here in the workspace uh, window. You can see the sizes of the variables here. So A is scalar, so that's one by one. X uh, is this uh, row vector, so it's one by four. Y is a column vector, it's three by one, and Z is this matrix, it's uh, three by three. If we want to query or use a function to find out what the uh, sizes of the vectors and matrices are. There are two useful commands. I can say for, for row vectors or column vectors, what is the uh, length of x? And it returns the number of elements. So there are four elements in x. And there are three elements in y. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's organized as a column or a row. For a matrix, you should not use the length command. Instead, uh, use the size command. So the size of Z, the matrix Z, returns two numbers. 
3 by 3 in this case. So there, the first number indicates the number of rows, the second number indicates the number of columns.